hey guys, can you help us out real quick? We're doing some interviews. And we're asking people what makes something morally right or wrong. You guys have any thoughts on that? Can you ask questions? What, what makes something morally right or wrong? I guess I could do it. I could do it could hurt it where it could benefit. Okay. What makes that wrong though? Like, like why is hurting someone wrong? Because it's hurting somebody, and it could hurt their feelings and make them sad. Okay, so if someone gets sad, that means it's wrong. I mean, not necessarily. <laughs> I don't know, it's confusing. <laughs> I don't know, I guess it's basically like what we've made it seem like. Like, yeah, that was society's like, made it seem society's like. Society's made it to where, like, oh, if you do this, it's hurting someone's feelings. Or, yeah. Okay, so what if society says it's okay to own black people and keep them as slaves and torture them? Does that make it right since no, society said no, so? No. Okay, why not? Then? Because it's, that's horrible and that's people. So why would you? What? Well, I totally agree with you. But why is it? Why is it horrible? What makes it horrible? Why do you think? I'll, I'll get there. I'm going. I'm going to. You're you guys. the interviewee. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. We all, why? Like, not necessarily my words, but I know my dad's answer would be, like, going back to the Bible. Like, yeah. And that is where I would go with it. Yeah. yeah. Do you agree with your dad? I do. I do. Like, I haven't read enough to know everything is right or wrong, but that's what he teaches me. Like, oh, it's wrong because the Bible says this, or oh, it's right to do that because the Bible says yeah. that. Do you see any other possibility that it, it could be? If it, if it wasn't that, could it be anything else? Um... I'm not saying that things in the Bible are wrong, but I feel like now sometimes, like, um, like it's kind of, it can be outdated. Yeah, like it can be a little outdated, or like now things are more normalized, or like in a different version of what I think he meant by it then. Okay, can you give yeah. me an example of something? Um, like uh, women doesn't in doesn't in the Bible doesn't it say about like like gay people like that's wrong yes like i feel like now it's more of like an acceptable thing because like people realize like people can love who they want to love like yeah. that's something that i would probably disagree with yeah okay because, but, like, but but why why are you right in the bible wrong i just feel like it shouldn't be controlled okay like, because i, I mean you appeal, you appeal to the bible for things like murder and, and slavery yeah it's like it's right on that it's yeah. like over here you don't like what it says. Yeah. I mean, why, why do you think that is? I don't know. It just comes down to what you're doing. Now, can I interject? I'm sorry. So, so now you appeal to love, right? And con and control, right? So, is love something that we can define? Otherwise, why isn't it loving that I can kill? Jews and black people or people that don't have the same IQ as I do why is that not loving who defines again the moral question of how do you define what love is you see what, you see what I'm yes, saying I guess it's just kind of your intentions like yeah. if you have good intentions of just loving and okay. caring like let me play devil's advocate so Hitler said I have good intentions I'm making a pure race you know, yeah. I'm going to apply evolution. My intentions are good. We're going to have a, a pure race. Yeah. Why is Adolf Hitler wrong? Because he's, he did it. He, he said that, but he was doing all of that out of hatred for, like, what, what, from when he was little, he was doing it out of hatred when, like, trauma said he had. Uh, what, what makes genocide? If you give up the Bible, what makes genocide wrong? Besides your personal preference. But why is hatred wrong? I don't know. <laughs> See, what I'm saying is, if you don't ground everything, right or wrong, true or false, in the Bible, your dad is absolutely right. You have to. But if you don't, you, you can't just pick and choose. Say, man, I don't like that stuff because it makes me uncomfortable because our culture said it was okay. But if you do realize, I mean, homosexual things have not been going on that long in this country. This is, a, this is new, right? But we like to accept the thing at the moment. I mean, well, we're prone to do that. But the Bible calls us to repent, which means to change our mind, 
and to agree with what God says. And if you don't, if you just pick and choose, you don't actually have a standard to say, well, look, what Hitler did was wrong because God said so. Yeah. And, and we're sitting here back and forth answering basic questions about reality. Uh, yeah, think about that because if God made them male and female, then it would be defiant, right, to reject that design. Just like if you made something and it, if you made a computer and said, I don't like running this way, I'm going to do this, right? It's, 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 a, it's just defiance. It's just, and that's why homosexuality, transgender and stuff is wrong. And plus, it would erase the human society altogether. Right. I mean, think about it. We, believe, we believe God made the world. So we have to live consistently, consistently with that. So if we put an island, we gave it 100 years, we put straight people on an island, there's a group of them, and a group of homosexuals. One island is not going to have any people when we go check on it in 100 years, right? It, it won't function, it doesn't work, because God has made the world in a certain way, and we have to abide by that since it's true and good and ultimately beautiful because we, we can make children and you know, this is the way God ordered the world from the beginning. So I would just challenge, challenge you to think about it. Our, our generation, especially, is just prone to accept whatever we're told as if it's loving and accepting. But, Thank you guys. You guys Thank y'all.